this video I am going to show one of the effective way to customize your thesis themes um, by the help of a dynamic content gallery. If you are not familiar with the dynamic content gallery you can check out my blog freshstudio.com. I have implemented a dynamic content gallery and I have mm, used a thesis theme and this tutorial is specially designed for the thesis user. If you are not the thesis user then you can disable the rest of the tutorial. You can check out uh, how it looks like. Uh, you can, uh, if you want same kind of um, dynamic content gallery in your blog, you can just follow my rest of the tutorial. Okay, for this, first you need to download dynamic content gallery WordPress plugin. Okay, from the WordPress plugin directory, then just upload it. After uploading it, go to the setting and you'll see uh, this page as I'm displaying here. First of all, you need to understand the certain things of this plugin, how it works and how we implement in the test system I'll teach you later first in the file management image file management you need to choose the full URL and it is by default you don't need to change anything here just put on a URL to image folder just put your domain name here then WP content slash upload slash custom then in the gallery method there are three different options multi option one category and a page multi option is for displaying the multiple category if you want to display the multiple category in a feature post articles then you can choose this option if you want to display the information of just only one category then you can choose one category if you want to display the um, features article instead of post uh, that is base then you can choose a base okay and when you choose this you will see uh, three different options here if you choose multiple options uh, then you, you have to choose this setting uh, if you choose all the two then just avoid it it is not useful for you I have chosen the multiple options so I will teach uh, every mm, function step by step if you want to choose a multiple option setting then you have to choose the first image that is the image that will be first display here like this from which category you want to select this there are lots of category in a uh, or base you to display uh, in a drop down menu just select one then how much post you want to select per category I've chosen a one in every category just do for rest of the four if you have chosen one category then choose one category that you want to display and the number of posts uh, you want to display in the features like three four five by default it will be like uh, I think five okay and click on the save and if you have chosen the, chosen the page setting then just uh, give a page ID here and just uh, set up a different image like I have done before now you see the slight uh, pen description just leave it as it is gallery size and CSS option you need to uh, know about it gallery size that means this option is useful for you uh, to just fit the player in the size I have uh, chosen 600 uh, width of this player and 300 height because my blog post width is 600 px and my height is Mm, and I have chosen a maximum uh, height that is used to display mm, uh, this content gallery in most of the other theme so you can just uh, choose it according to your theme size uh, by default it will be you know, 450 px sorry 460 px and 500 uh, sorry 250 px and you can choose uh, you can manage the CSS and all the options here after all done then do not change anything in below here after it here are the certain different option you want the script load in which switch page you can just manage it if you want to and uh, the skip load in a home page then give it a home page only I recommend home page only because uh, mostly it is used in a home page in other page it is not mostly effective therefore mm, after it you can save all the shift change all then it will be shape then after this you need to go to your 
we need to go to a this is custom file editor custom file editor in a custom dot function custom dot slash function dot psp you need to add certain code for this code please visit first tutorial.com you need to add this code into the um, feature content gallery okay you need to add this for this post sorry for this code please visit first tutorial.com after this you need to go to the design option in the design option you will see certain things here you need to manage this in a future box you will see here you will see the uh, placement here in a placement you need to choose in your content column and on home page and above all the posts ok you, you need to choose this and after choosing this click in save and just refresh the page you will see the same uh, content gallery that has been displayed in my and please note that uh, it is not uh, easy to manage all this you need to arrange each and every picture size I've been just lazy about this so I use any picture size if you want to have uh, the effective uses of it then you need to add the actual width in height that you have used uh, there then it will be effective uh, then uh, this will be effective and it will attract more viewers into your blog by a, by the look of a blog design and it may look your face is now go to the page option and select zero a number of feature posts to show from home page display then after this when you write each post you will be displayed dynamic content gallery on the right hand side of a page that means the uh, image url that you want to put side panel description please make uh, uh, leave it uh, if you do not uh, if you want to have the same description that will be in, in your side description then just leave it and in the image url just keep the url that you want to display in the future content gallery and just, up, uh, just uh, publish your post and this is the right way to do it please note that uh, you have uh, for the effective <laughs>